All right, time to answer the most asked question by far in my comments everywhere. Will Killer Clowns be the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Thoughts? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're so different. Especially after playing it, you really see the difference. It's two completely different games. The only thing really similar to me is that they're ASIM. ASIM horror, if you want to even call it. Yeah. Even though Clowns is like a loose horror. Yeah, they're not really that scary. It's more fun. So I think the best way to approach this and explain why we think that they're both going to be fine in their own world is to go over like what each game offers that's different. Okay. And and can I say like broad picture immersion? Like with clowns, I'm not like as immersed in the world that they've built. TCM, when I'm in the game, I'm in. As family or victim, I'm 100% in. Oh, and you have to, with TCM, you have to be like locked in from the second you start. Clowns, you don't really need to be. You can kind of, it's very loose. And that's something they could add with clowns, like a beginning screen to show how you got there or show like, for example, with TCM, you start on the hook as a victim and immediately you're like, I'm in trouble. Right. And as a, you know, and same, and on the opposite side, as a family member, you start off seeing Leatherface just destroy someone. And then, yeah, then you're right into the game. So it really puts you in the world right from the get go. Whereas I feel like clowns, you're just there. Yeah, they kind of throw you in. You're right. A little cutscene would be a nice little touch. Yeah. Let's start off with TCM. What makes it so good and why it's going to be around? So TCM, like you said, it's the stakes of the game, the tension. You start off, you're as a victim, you're barely alive or you're on the hook. You know, you have to find your way out. You have very clear objectives. You have doors you have to get through in order to get to your uh, escape routes, right? Right. You know what they are. You know generally where to find them, even though they're random, you have an idea. And some of that takes time and that's kind of similar with clowns it's a very small map you know what i mean none of the maps are so huge and overwhelming and on the family side same thing you have your clear objectives these victims you got to keep them in you have strategies to keep them in you know like what to do what not to do if you make a mistake in there it's gonna come back to bite you right and that's the stakes of the game right i would say too tcm the sound is huge like and it, and it helps that immersive immersiveness yeah we're gonna yeah, go with that we'll go with that but yeah you have to be quiet you have to listen you hear the chainsaw it's just like that's what makes you like get so into it and well, then you can't make too much sound you hear footsteps it just is it's just the sound quality in tcm is great well and also the sound of the gameplay like it's you have to listen intently like as a family member to hear victims as a victim to hear, I mean, Leatherface's chainsaw just terrorizes you. Yeah, I would say, like, it's like playing a movie. That's what yeah. TCM feels like, where Clowns isn't, Clowns feels like a video game. Yeah, this sure is sticky. Right. 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 Which, I mean, I guess you could take that how you want. I will say the victim or the characters in TCM have a lot more personality right now than the victims in Clowns. Well, the TCM cons. TCM has spent a ton of time developing the lore about where the person came from, their backstory, why they are the way in which they are, and they've explained that to us, which then you're invested in playing each character. Well, and each character has their own skill sets. Like, right. Clowns isn't like that. It's generic characters. There's archetypes. But TCM, each character has, like, very specific things they can do, which, I mean, they're way different play styles. Right. So it makes it really interesting to play different. Like you could play as a victim and have four or whatever, five, how many characters are seven? I don't even know. Seven different experiences from the same game. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Clowns, not that way. Every victim's the same play style. Yeah, you just have I mean, well, they're, you do they're, have they're different. varied, but there's five play styles. I would say you do have different attributes, but it's not the same as TCM. Right. Right, at least not as right now. Well, and it's not even nearly as as important. I would say overall with TCM, the gameplay itself is very rewarding. When you're a family team and you lock down uh, the house or whatever, a map, and you're using tactics, you're communicating, it's rewarding to kill those victims and get, knock them all out. Get him? Got him. Nice. Yeah, nice, uh, nice yeah. job, dude. Good work, boys. Good job, boys. <laughs> Same on the flip side as victims, when you work together, you coordinate like different attacks. You have someone do a backstab, whatever. You work on different doors. It's rewarding to escape. We're back, dude. We're back. <laughs> Clowns right now, um, to me, doesn't have as much of that in it. I don't feel almost really any of that right now. It's open. Oh, I think I was standing in it. <laughs> Good job. 
but I do think it will get there. And then there's going to be improvements, but currently the way it is, you're right. I don't feel like it goes back to that camaraderie or the teamwork. I don't feel there's much of that at all. Yeah. And that's why I think TCM is doing just fine. <laughs> oh, dude. After playing clowns, I appreciate TCM a lot more. And I'm like, dude, they've really done a great job with their gameplay. Yeah. Uh, another thing I'll compare is like the lackey generator versus grandpa. We talked about it because both those to me are a way for the killers, you know, to progress the game. The lackey generator triggers clown apocalypse, feeding grandpa triggers that, you know, you can see where all the victims are, kill them all. Right. Right. And the feeding grandpa right now is a lot more powerful than the lackey generator is. That's why I think the lackey generator needs a little bit of a buff to make it more important for clowns to want to do that. Right. And uh, I just think it's easier to feed grandpa and you have those perks associated with it. So you know what you're getting right away. Lackey generators, you just get more lackeys, right? It would almost be, it almost like if you fill up a lackey generator, maybe even like a radar or something around it, or it would ping or sounds are more pronounced, whatever. I don't want to get into all that, but overall, I think TCM takes a little bit on that mechanic absolutely last thing with uh, tcm and we're probably missing stuff so let us know in the comments what <laughs> what you think we I'm missed sure, here i'm sure we're missing stuff yeah because we're not trying to go that in depth but the ui I, it's just clean in tcm right like, with the exception the perk system that whole thing is a little bit like yeah eh. i'm talking more about just the gameplay oh when you're in the game oh yeah yeah it's clean no, it's clean yeah they used to have some banners and stuff that would kind of get in the way but they've cleaned it up pretty good with that overall i think that runs well there was that cutscene with grandpa that got annoying for a while <laughs> oh dude that was horrible but overall like TCM, I think it's got a clean UI and again, it's immersive. So it sticks you in that game. Now that's the TCM side, killer clowns. What is great about killer clowns? Lobbies right off the bat, you get in quick. They're good to go. Dude, no question. Immediate lobbies. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to say again, we're comparing the two. I think we made it clear why TCM is going to be around, but we just want to go into like what clowns has going for it versus TCM. Yeah, I'll say if TCM dies, it's not because of clowns. It's because they didn't develop the game enough. They didn't give us enough things to keep us in the game. Totally agree. But I think they're going, they're aware of this. They're going to do it. They want to be successful. They want to make money. It's going to happen. Well, I think clowns looked at like uh, the pitfalls of a lot of these ASIM games, especially TCM, and basically just flipped it. And we're like, you know what? You're slow on content. We're going to dump content into the game. And we'll work the gameplay out as we go. Right, right. <laughs> You're right. I think June 4th, we'll see a lot of the complaints or issues like we have with it. I think it'll be kind of ironed out. So they nailed the lobbies. We talked about it. You can get in quick. You basically can die and just jump in another game. It's almost seamless, you know? In clowns? Yeah. Yeah, or you can come back with the regeneration machine. I don't think that's what it's called, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, you're right. The regen is another great thing that clowns has because... Honestly, that'd be kind of nice to have in TCM. So Clowns has the opportunity to come back from the dead. That's pretty huge. Yeah, it just makes it fun. Makes you want to stick around in the game. So you're honestly, just stick around the game longer. Watch your teammates. Once they iron out these other things, it will make it a lot more fun to, for the teamwork thing. Right, right. As soon as they stop the backfill yeah. issue with that. The game itself, very lighthearted. You can go in with buddies and just have a good time. It's not as stressful, not as competitive, which actually can be a good thing. Well, I you know? feel like a lot of people since F13 went away, were looking for this. Right. And it's here. It, it, this is the game where you can just jump on with friends, talk while you're playing and have a good time. Yeah. They nailed, we talked about it, the progression system. It's awesome. They've built it into the game. Again, it's the opposite of TCM where you have a reason to grind and there's challenges that unlock cosmetics right out the gate. Prox Chat nailed it again, makes for really fun, dynamic gameplay. Prox Chat would actually be good in TCM for like just your team because it'd almost make it scarier if you couldn't talk to each other unless you were close. Oh, that's a good point, dude. I would like Prox Chat for just your team in TCM because again, that totally makes it just that much more immersive. That's the word of the day. I we're wouldn't gonna, even we're gonna count how many times I say that during the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ding. So another great thing about Killer Clowns is the escape limitations on the different exits. And it works two ways. So one as a victim, you know, it creates that tension when there's four people at it at an exit and only three can go, right? Okay, it's about to open. It's opening, it's about there. Shoot. They're fighting in my army. Shoot, I need Dude, I got stunned. Wait, don't open it yet. Don't open it's, it. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. shoot. Crawling, 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 crawling. 
Did you get in? I got in. Yeah, yeah, I got in too. <laughs> <laughs> and it creates these fun situations that happen, which happened to us several times. Yeah, well, which we talked about in the gameplay when I had to crawl backwards out <laughs> to in order, well, somebody got left behind, but hey, you got to save yourself at some it, point. It you is know? what it is. It happens. And I do love the bridge that when you cross the bridge, if you like run across it, I think it damages it more or something. I had an uh, encounter with a clown who chased me onto it and destroyed the bridge, and I couldn't get, leave. Yeah, so what they said is three people can cross the bridge if you crouch, but if you run, I think one person can destroy the bridge. <laughs> yeah, which I love that aspect. So I, that's a really good thing Clowns has going. And then on the flip side, if you're a clown, the, you know, say three people get out of exit, the game's not over. That exit's cashed out now, and you can just worry about the other ones. Which did make me think, is there room for something like that in TCM? I know. Like the fuse box, should everybody be able to leave through it? Should it be a one-time use? Let us know in the comments. The last thing we're going to talk about with clowns, and I'm sure we've missed a ton of stuff, but again, guys, our brains are only so big. We can only keep so much in there, you know? Uh, I do. The looting. There's a whole looting system in Clowns, which does add to the gameplay where you're going around trying to find items. You find some stuff you don't need. You still find some that you don't even know what to do with. The bricks are around. Tons of tennis balls. <laughs> I think it's fun exploring maps. I do enjoy that part about it. And, you know, there's looting in TCM. It's just a different style. I don't even know necessarily if I'd want more looting in TCM. In fact, I you wouldn't. Don't, you don't need it. It's not built for that. It's kind of, That's why these games are great in their own ways. Both of them, I think, are going to... Well, TCM already is doing well, contrary to what a lot of people say. I think it's great, and especially when Hands comes out. Clowns is just obviously just came out. I think it's going to grow in its own world. Isn't it so funny? Why do we put these things against each other? Is that human nature? I don't know. I think it's because people like to listen to it. <laughs> That's why we're talking about it. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying us, but, you know, as soon as Clowns we heard released, or as soon as there's a lot of hype behind it, everyone is immediately is like, well, TCM's going to die as as clowns come out comes out not the case at all it's it's everything when when tcm came out that was dbd versus tcm now it's clowns versus tcm you know yeah it's <laughs> funny they all honestly every one of those games can live in their own world and yes the player base i'm sure on tcm dropped a little with clowns but it's it's the core group is still there and it has tons of potential still i honestly don't even know if it's going to hurt it hardly at all yeah, I think you, I realized right away, as soon as we played Clowns, I'm like, oh, TCM is fine because it's nothing like it. It's a totally different experience and it hits with me something that I kind of want. Like, it's like you said, F13, it hits the, that, it fits that niche, you know, where I just want to jump in, have fun, like more casual gameplay troll with some like voice chat, <laughs> you know? And then when I want to get serious, play like more tactical, you go to TCM. The only way in my mind that clowns would have even killed TCM if it was so freaking good that you couldn't stop playing it. Right. right? Like one of those, like when the BR thing came out, right? In Fortnite, people were obsessed with it, right? That type of thing. This isn't that. Clowns is fun and it's a great game. I don't find myself where I'm like, I got to keep playing it. Hey, they were both made very different and they both did a really good job. So yeah. <laughs> we applaud you guys. And next time, clowns, give us a code before the game be, uh, launches. Yeah, no huh? kidding. We didn't. We didn't get no code. I mean, maybe we are kind of a small channel, but hey, <laughs> we're growing. <laughs>